Hey guys, Becky with Design Bundles here, and I'm super excited to bring you another tutorial today for Cricut Design Space. So Cricut users, this is definitely one you don't wanna miss. We are going to break apart a black and white image and make it to where you can layer it with colors. Let's get started. Hey guys, here we are in Cricut Design Space, and this is just a blank canvas. So the first thing we wanna do is go to Upload. And of course, I have already selected a really, well, what I think is a really awesome um, SVG bundle. Now, I want to say that you can use this technique with SVGs and then also with um, any clip art that you can bring in and separate um, into different components. So it's not really going to work for clip art that is like a watercolor or anything like that, but any basic clip art that you can bring in um, and divide out by colors because I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. So the first thing that I'm working with, and this is the easiest, if you can find a PNG black and white copy. All right, so I can select any of these that I want to. We'll just start with the first one. Now, luckily, because it's a PNG, it has a transparent backing. That's what you're seeing this blue grid mark back here. Um, but in the event that you I can't find a PNG. This screen right here is the select and erase. So what that means is that you can click on um, different colors to erase them. But I'll show you more about that next time. So let's hit continue. And we are just going to use the save a cut image, save as a cut image right here on the right hand side and choose save. So we're going to bring that into our work area and it comes in a little large. So let's slice it down. I just did um, six inches. Now, what you need to do is you need to think in your head, okay, how many colors am I going to need? I think I'm going to break this down into, we'll do five different colors. So I need five different copies plus my original black outline. Okay. So let's kind of break these up a little bit. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here on the right bottom. We're going to choose contour. And I'm going to use hide all contours. And then I'm going to come in here and click on the shapes that I want to keep. Make sure you get rid of your black outline. And I'm going to go ahead and color it in in green. All right, so we'll choose the next one and we will move on to the next color. So do the same thing, hide all contours and just click on the parts that you want to keep. So same thing. We will just select a color next. And basically we will continue this process to isolate all of the colors that we want for this design. Okay, so on the very last one, and for me this is really important, um, it helps a lot with my layering. For the very last one, I just want to click hide all contours and basically it will hide everything except the bottom most color. So then I can, let's see, we want to send that one to back and I can start arranging all of my pieces. So then once you get your pieces arranged, you'll be able to look at it better and see if you want to go back and add in any more contours, such as um, some of this black space in between. So let's take a look at that. So we can add back in this part. And that is how you break down a basic clip art or basic um, SVG into various colors. So next, let's talk about uploading and using an image that already has color. All right, it's going to be less common, but it might happen if you decide that you um, see a clip art image and you want to break it down. This doesn't work real well if your clip art image is like watercolor or distress or anything like that. So you still want to get clear clip art to work with. And um, I have the same image that we just used. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, simple. I believe simple is what I'm going to want to go with this time. So let's go ahead and hit continue. All right. So this is also part of what I was talking about with erasing the background if you needed to. So let's zoom out. 
Now all I'm going to do is click on the white background. And it may take a minute, but it will delete it down to a um, transparent background. And I want to make sure that I get all of these other white pieces as well. Now at, thip, at this point, I would be able to use this as a print and cut if I wanted to, but that's not what we're doing, right? So I actually find it easier to break this down to all black and white again. But technically you can, and some people do this, they will continue to upload and delete other colors. So for example, they'll delete everything except for the green one time, and then they'll come back in and they'll delete everything except for the um, orange. I find it better to go ahead and break it back down to black and white if possible. There are some files that maybe they're not black and white and you won't be able to do this, but if you can go ahead and break it down to black and white, then you can literally do the exact same thing that we did before. You just want to be careful and make sure because this doesn't always feel like a solid color. So see how I'm still getting a little bit of green in here. So if you can, you want to try to make sure you get all of that out. So I'm literally deleting every color except black. And then what I'll be able to do, the reason I do that is because then instead of uploading for a different color and then going back and uploading for a different color and going back and uploading, instead of having all those individual pieces, I can copy and paste again, just like we did the first time. And um, it just kind of keeps everything similar. Does that kind of make sense? Um, it keeps my process similar. So regardless of if I'm using, you know, a, an SVG file like I used before, or if I'm using a um, clip art like this, if I can get down to that black base, then it works really, really well. Now, like I said, the only problem is if you're working with a clip art that does not use a black base or a black and white base, then you will have to upload for each individual um, color. So let's size this down and I'm going to go ahead and use my contour. So once you open the contour, you're literally just going to do the exact same thing that we did on the last one, which is um, you can go ahead and let's see, we'll hide all contours and we can select the ones that we want to keep. So once you're happy with it, just exit out. So then you would fill them in with green and move on to the next color. Now I'm not going to go back through step by step, but it's, it's literally, like I said, the same thing that we just finished. And when you get to the end, you end up with another really awesome finished design, just like that one that you can cut down into your different colors or use as a print and cut. So let's talk about reasons that you would want to use this for a print and cut. For example, if you're working with clip art that's black and white and you want to print it in color, um, if you want to work with any patterns, this is also really useful because you can fill with patterns. And then also if you're wanting to change any of the colors. And like I said, it doesn't really work too well if you're trying to work with anything that is a watercolor. Um, but for basic colors, this works really well. Um, so you can turn either a black and white image or you can change the colors of an existing design. So um, hopefully you guys found this video useful and I explained how to change from a one color to break out the colors into your different layers. So guys, how did we feel about our layers? I know, I know it's a little bit of work and it, it takes getting used to to really work well within that contour window, but it is a really, really easy way to be able to take those either black and white SVG files or the clip art and break them down into all the different colors that you want to cut and layer with your vinyl or your cardstock or any medium that you want to work with. And that's the great thing about using the Cricut is really, it's just such an unlimited machine that, you know, once you learn to cut with one thing, you can cut with another. So don't be afraid to try new things. And this layering method is one more stepping stone on your crafting journey. So, all right, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today. Make sure you check out that subscribe button Button, sign up for notifications. That's the way that you are going to be notified of all of our videos in the future. And uh, guys, I just really appreciate it every time you stop by. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. Any video requests? All right. All right. I'm going to wrap it up, but we will see you next time.